Ask any teacher, they'll likely tell you it's tough getting all kids interested in math. So at Columbus Academy, they're taking a different approach to teaching by mixing purpose with a little play, creating a new type of math passion. Problem solved. Tell a student they need to know math for everyday real life, and you'll likely get a non-committal shrug as a response. Let a child figure out on their own how to solve a problem, you'll get a very different outcome. This concept of promoting problem solving is what drives Chris Boulinace, the math department chair at Columbus Academy. In high school, I got good grades, but it was learn the material for the test, do well on the test, wash, rinse, repeat. It wasn't until I was really challenged in this honors accelerated calculus course my freshman year at Ohio State where we were given problems we weren't told exactly how to do. And initially that was a really foreign space, like how are we supposed to figure this out? But there I really saw that math is more open than just being told an algorithm and following that algorithm. There's a space for play, there's a space for curiosity, things like that. Space for play, not something you normally hear in a classroom, especially one as serious as math. Yet it's rare to see students in Chris's class actually sitting down. To foster problem solving in a classroom, by far the best media to use isn't a handout or having students work at tables. It's having them up at a whiteboard. By being vertical, students are upright, they're ambulatory, they're looking around to seeing what other students are doing. It's not contained at the table where it's sort of secretive. So in my class this year, students are encouraged to go up to the board, talk with one another. It's sort of like Google, right? You know, people are up there, they're not confined to a cubicle. They're up, they're walking, they're talking, they're looking at other ideas around the room. There's no fear of making a mistake because you can just erase it. So at CA, we're really, always questioning and being reflective about how we can best support our students in problem solving and math success. Chris also supports his students by looking to other teachers to generate new ideas, both within the walls of Academy as well as beyond its campus. So what we started three years ago is called the Columbus Math Teacher Circle. There are teachers come together, pre-service teachers, retired teachers, and we come and just do math. It's like a math club for teachers. It's also inspired a student version made up of fourth to eighth grade students, all who simply want to play and have fun with numbers. What if there were 66 people? There's no formula that we expect students to know. There's not an immediate go-to of, oh, one half base times height or whatever. So it's that sort of uncertainty, that ambiguity of what do I do? Okay, I'm going to look at a few cases. I'm going to make a table. Oh, what patterns am I looking for? Oh, whoa, what if we do this? It's that discussion, that drive of the unknown that I think is really cool about math. Chris hopes math and fun will soon easily fit in the same sentence. So a goal of the United States is to move our culture of, hey, I can't even balance my own checkbook and bragging about that to saying, yeah, math's cool because it's joy. It's, it's, you know, it's fun to see connections and struggle with the problem for hours and then have that aha moment. Well, you can learn so much more about the academic programs at Columbus Academy by heading to their website. It's columbusacademy.org or call their admissions office 614-509-2220 to schedule a visit.